it's time for Bachelor's Amateur Trial of the Week. We've been speaking about Smithy's amateur career, but um, we've got four contenders. Let's check these out, then you're going to pick you one. Are you ready? Let's go. Check these out. Okay, so we are back. Jones, a drum yep. roll. Brrr. That's not a drum roll. It's not a shit. It's a school shot. I'm really kids. excited though. It's a good. <laughs> no, no, it's the full best. Oh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's my version of a drum roll, and my winner this week. For a multitude of reasons that we're going to go through in yeah. a second release. You're going to break it down. We're going to break like, it down, yeah. Like Jamie Carragher and Phil. Yeah, let's Phil, do uh, it. Let's do Phil, it. I'm going to chat with Neville. Gary Neville. It's Gary Neville. It's really important that people understand why we're picking them, what yeah, the, go the, on, the theories behind it. And the winner is Aidan Houghton of Pilkington well, Rex under 10s. Aiden He's going to get Howard. one of these. Well done, mate. Outstanding. One of these balls. He's going to get one of these balls here. Mushy P ball. Right then, let's roll it. Let me talk you through it. Why he's got amateur try of the week this week. The first skill that I like about this try is it starts with a loose ball recovery. Now, for me, any attitude within a team or an individual comes and is determined by your willingness to get on that ball. So we know that it's a lot of brownie points in a meeting on a Monday morning. If you're first to a loose ball, Brian McDermott used to call it save the president, save the president. Uh, which basically means you imagine the ball's a grenade, yeah. right, and you're a CIA guy yeah. or the uh, the president's guard, and you've got to get on that ball before it explodes and save the president. That's the urgency we had about it. It's a big, big skill to have, especially when you're a young kid. And then he starts running, and he's got a left foot step, a right foot step. The only thing I'd like to see, Smithy, I don't know about you, is the ability to transfer the ball and maybe palm off. Yeah. Because when you're in centres especially, it's a really important skill to have, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Something I wasn't great at. I could never hold the ball in my left hand. We're always right-handed dominant, yeah. So, he, the, the, the young lad, is it Aiden? When he yep. goes, if he can switch ball to left hand and fend the kid, he's off. He then he's got the it. speed, the pace, and the endurance to make it to the line. But once he gets there, a really important part for me, and you might think this is obvious, but last year we were struggling to kick goals, and for whatever reason we scored loads of tries, some of which were failed to score under sticks when we had a free run there. And this kid, even though I'm not even sure that they kick goals at that age, even if, even if they don't, it's a good habit to have to get under sticks and make it a, an easier, almost certain six-pointer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then the last one, and the most important skill for me is that it finishes with a two-handed put-down. Now, tell us <laughs> what Tony Smith thought of two-handed put-downs and what all KR are going through right now. Tony Smith was a big fan of two-handed put-downs. <laughs> big, big How fan. How big a fan? Oh. <laughs> you didn't pull that ball down with two hands. You didn't want to go to that meeting on a Monday morning, I'm telling you now. I think Calder's once got caught with it. Yeah. Did he get knocked out or some? Or did he knock it out of someone's hand? I think Calder's. Yeah, he might have done. Yeah. He knocked it out of someone's hand. Someone went and put it down one handed, and Calder's, you know, how quick Calder's yeah. would run up behind him and knocked his hand and knocked the ball out of his hand. Yeah. Whoa. Big, big plus for Tony that he likes that. <laughs> he'd leave you out. He'd leave you out. And if you're training, no, you're training. Would. Any games in training, uh, one handed put downs completely chalked off this allowed. What? Because there'll come a point yeah. when it'll let your teammates down. Get a hand up ball and it gets uh, gets dropped this way. You lunch. could dive though. Semi final. You're allowed, obviously, you're allowed yeah. to dive. You could just have to two hand it every time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, it'd be interesting to see what Tony's opinion is on. Obviously, there's some fantastic finishes in the game now. You know, Tom Johnson, Ethan Ryan at Bradford, brilliant yeah. finishes of the game. And it's a skill within itself as a winger now to be able to do that. Um, so it'd be interesting to see his thoughts on you know, being able to one handed put down now. <laughs>